Well, new information tonight from the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation. Plans have been approved to finally develop the remaining parcels at Canal Side. And we are talking about the North Odd Block. That's a two acre parcel of land that sits north of what has already been built at Canal Side, but has remained vacant for nearly a decade and a half. Now that's all changing. Well, Channel 2's Dave McKinley joins us live from the site at Canal Side with more about what was approved for that site today. Hello, Dave. Hi there, Mary Alice. You know, Rome wasn't built today and neither will this be. But after years of fits and starts, the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation believes it is finally hit on the right combination to round things off at Canal Side and much of the last phase will involve housing. We're in the final chapter of completing the odd block. The final chapter of what's been a 14 year saga since Memorial Auditorium was torn down and ever since this empty pit has remained on the north end of the old odd site. What took so long? Um, you know, it's a process. We built out the odd block canals. We brought the Children's Museum down to the waterfront. We've got the South Odd Block going with Heritage Point and the Sinatra development. And finally, the last piece of the puzzle. Actually, two pieces. The first will be the Gateway Building, four stories of offices, meeting rooms, retail shops, and restrooms. It'll more or less serve as the headquarters for all that is Canal Side for about $14 million. The far larger component will be developed by a New York City-based firm. It involves construction of a neighborhood consisting of five buildings with street-level shops and 367 apartments, half market rate, half low income. We want to bring as many people down to the waterfront to be able to not just come down for the day and enjoy it, but to have a chance to live there just like anybody else. So the, the better the mix, the stronger the mix, the better for Western New York. It will sit on top of a two-story underground parking garage. It comes with a $160 million price tag. Including the, the underground parking structures, the commercial spaces, the streets, the plazas, the buildings, everything. But it's going to be a few years longer before everything is ready. We're hoping to get uh, have the developer get out there an early 25 break ground, uh, as, as was mentioned during the board meeting, right? We still have some of the final agreements to get in place and um, actually should be phasing openings in starting in 27. Now that smaller portion of the last phase of development, the gateway building we told you about, that'll come on board long before the housing project does. Uh, that'll start construction next month, we are told, and with an expected completion date of early 2025. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.